If we think about first response, cyber is the next domain. It honestly isn't a whole lot different than fire, police, EMS, or even the military. All of which have decided that they need incident command infrastructures in order to operate, in order to make decisions quickly, and in order to convene the right people. The Cyber Tactical Operations Center is a recognition that this is the next new domain, and we're probably going to see a lot of these things on the road in the next 10 to 20 years. The vehicle is called the Cyber Tactical Operations Center. When you first see the SeaTac, it looks like a large black tractor trailer truck. It expands out on both sides and becomes three times the width. To wire all this up, it took over 20,000 feet of cabling. All of this, to haul it around, weighs 23 tons. Let's talk about ransomware. When we think about ransomware in a consumer sense, it's often someone's asking for $500 to restore your system because you clicked on a link you shouldn't have. We've even seen police departments have all of their records locked up, and in some cases, they've had to pay. But now think about ransomware on an industrial scale, where an entire company is locked up. It could be a shipping company. It could be an entire hospital. And the bad guys aren't asking for $500. They're asking for hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions of dollars. One of the things that CTOC can do with our incident response team is provide that sterile working environment that is not infected to give that investigation a place to start and to start to rebuild that company. Election security is obviously a big topic right now. I think the thing we have to really think about isn't so much the exotic idea of someone coming in and actually manipulating a vote. In fact, here in the US, because election systems are so different in every jurisdiction, that would actually be really hard to do. What we do need to think about, however, are all the systems that occur before that vote is cast. What about the system you use to register to vote? That might be a DMV system where you set up your license. We have to think about the systems that are used by political parties and candidates. We have to think about the systems that might be used to influence how people think about how they're going to vote. That threat landscape is actually much larger. One of the things that the Seahawk can do is it can either go to those events, but they involve something in person. In addition to that, the CTOC can work with each of those parties, whether we're talking about a, a political committee, whether we're talking about a department of motor vehicles, and actually put those people through a simulation, test their systems, understand are they secure, but also are they ready to respond if there's a problem. We have to think about what could happen in the future. What if the bad guys caused physical damage or physical implication. We call this a kinetic attack. Imagine a bad guy breaks into a system like, let's say, a bank, and you can't get your money out. Maybe they manipulate your car so it doesn't start. Or maybe they turn off the lights. This is another opportunity to provide that command post where we work with other types of responders, potentially fire, police, and EMS, to deal with the implications of a kinetic attack that may also have technological or cyber implications. Cybersecurity is certainly one of the most pressing challenges that we face as a generation. Every business is on the front line. We not only have a responsibility to protect the data of our clients, but we also have a responsibility to know when and how to respond in the event that we've been breached.